Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about the top 5 workshop apps that are good for training your aim in CSGO. So let's get started. On number 5 for me will be the Yprec maps, and specifically Free Fire Prec. You can just click on the play button and jump in the middle to get started. And if you want guidelines, there you can type help and help again to turn them off. The reason I think this is so important is to train your crosshair placement. In order to have a good aim, crosshair placement is really important. Some of the best pros in the game that are known for their aim, like Nico, have insane crosshair placement. The closer you are to the target with your crosshair when you peek around the corner, the less you have to rely on flicks and flashy aim, and you can just click when the target runs into your crosshair. They have these Yprac maps for every single competitive map in the map pool and they have pretty much every single route you can take from a t to go to a bomb site so you can practice for example in mirage going from ramp all the way to ct and planting default spot you can kind of use the pre-fire practice to learn all the common spots to learn where you should place your crosshair before going around the corner and you can practice your strafing while pre-firing to the left if you want to I would recommend doing every map at least once. You don't have to do it every day. It's just to get used to the positionings of the CTs and where your crosshair should be positioned before you come around the corner. You can do it first with help, with guidelines on, so you know what path to take and where the enemies will spawn. And then afterwards, you can turn help off and just go as you would in a normal game. And you'll be surprised by how many off angles these bots will shoot you, where you're like, oh, I was already exposed to that angle while picking this guy. So I think it's very useful. You can get this map in the workshop by just typing Yprac or I will be linking every single one of these maps in this top 5 in my description anyway. So let's move on to my number 4. On number 4 here I have Recoil Master as a map. I think it's essential you know the recoil pattern of your guns that you're using in order to have good aim and good control of your aim especially when you're spraying. Because a lot of the time, one taps won't be sufficient and you will be spraying or bursting. So it's important to learn the recoil patterns of those guns. The AK and the M4, but also don't forget the Galil and Thamas. If you learn those sprays, it can really be useful in force by situations. And even the MP9 or the Mech 10. Or if you're an AUG player, maybe you want to learn the AUG pattern. There's a lot of customizations possible, obviously. The map basically starts out like this. There's a ghost there, there's no target. Um, I like to have the target on and the ghost turn not on and just spray a target like this in general and then you can keep putting the target further and further uh, depending on how comfortable you are with spraying. Uh, but you can use the ghost hair especially if you want to have a lower bullet time. I'm going to turn bullet time on here. And like let's say you want to practice at 10% bullet time. You press F it will activate the 10%. And then you can slowly track this green dot at 10% speed. And practice spraying like that. And you can press F again to turn it off. Um, I wouldn't recommend going as low as 10%, but maybe you can go 50% or 75% at first just to get used to it. I just personally prefer... Uh, spraying a t-target like this but like i said you can put it further or closer and you can even turn on multiple targets if you want to learn how to spray transfer between three targets like that so that's all up to you on number three i have one of my favorite maps training aim csgo 2 and i use the dark mode you can come over here and pick up a gun from this board and over here are the settings um, I like to start with size 8 because I think size 12 is a little bit too big. I'll show you. This is size 12. I think that's massive. Um, I like to use the color white, but that's preference. And then the settings I like to practice on, which kind of simulate that Valorant hard training range mode before that even existed, is amount 100, delay 0.25, duration 0.50. I'll go to the second level in the middle. And I'll just start shooting these targets. I personally don't play this a lot anymore because I already play Kovacs and it kind of is the same idea. But there's so many options. The one I just showed you is the classic fast aiming. You can do angles and sliding. 
where you just you click and then you go down like this click again and it just helps with smoothness then the other one that i think that it's pretty good is intensive fast aiming which will add a whole bunch of targets and if you reach the limit which is seven right now um it will reset so you can just keep shooting these targets and you can make it as hard as you want it to be i think intensive fast aiming is probably also one of the best modes you can do on this map i think both the classic mode if you use the settings that i used and the intensive fast aiming mode are really good for both target acquisition and practicing your flicks and just general like hand-eye coordination even if it's not on a real target this map was basically my Kovacs before I played Kovacs. I used to do this a lot and benchmark myself against other people on YouTube that I saw get scores and stuff. And I even used it in my 30 day extreme aim training routine. So I definitely love this map a lot even though I don't play it that much anymore. I think it's great for practicing your aim. On number 2 is one of my favorite aim training maps that exists out there. And I think it is the best workshop map you can use to practice tracking and see us go actually because there's an arena and the bots are all around you and you can just put your crosshair on their head and track them and then pull the trigger um, before they jump up here there's a lot of weapons you can choose from all around over here are more settings like kevlar enabled kevlar disabled um, you can make it headshot only um, i like to just use a ak and a usb and tap the headset and track you can do it with an ak with a usb or you can practice your tracking with the deagle and pulling the trigger at the right time. Because hitting a walking target with a deagle or shooting too fast with a deagle can sometimes be difficult. Or you can even practice spraying and even spray transfers. All around, I think this is a, a great map. I like to use it for five minutes pretty much as a warm up. I'll do two and a half minutes. I'll do some tapping with the AK in the head. And after those two minutes are over, I will do the same with a USB and really focus on wrecking the bots. I don't care about how many targets I kill. It's just about how smooth my aim is and shooting at the right time using my tracking as DS. And that's pretty much it for this second map. I would really recommend adding at least five minutes of this map into your routine and then for my number one i'm sure a lot of you expected it because i was missing in this list it's aimbots i think this is the best map for training your aim or warming up your aim in all of cs i think you could get very far without using any other map and just using aimbots for 30 minutes a day there's so many options here so i'll just go over them really quickly um i like to use this map as a warm-up so i'll turn off these three walls open up this area you can see by clicking these two walls and disabling this last wall then i like to turn off the head armor because i like to use the usb at a certain point i put it on 200 frags and i open the lock here get nice and cozy in between these bots and then i'll just use 200 i'll kill 200 bots like this just to warm up my aim I'll try to flick between them if i don't land on the head i will micro adjust and i pretty much do 200 kills like that just to warm up i use the map to spray as well i will use the ak and the m4 i do 200 kills with both of them I basically start at one of the bots and then i try to break control from like three to five bots not more because there's not really any point there's never more than five players in the server and just practice my spray control like that and i think that's really useful if you combine recoil master with just generally spraying 200 bots down in this wall right here i think your spray will improve a lot because i know mine did i also think that practicing your strafing is really important so i will do you know 50 stutter steps to the left 50 stutter steps to the right and just strafing left to right for 100 kills just to make sure that my strafing stays on point then after i'm done doing all of those things i usually open up the arena but leave the last wall out and use speed 5 and 
number one strafing pattern to use speed shoot 200 bots in the head and to finish off my warm-up session i will do 100 kills flicking with the op on my target there's obviously a lot of other things you can do you don't have to do it exactly you don't have to do it my way you can obviously do it your own way i know that when screen played this map he used to do the 360 arena and just flick his mouse around and shoot between targets you can put up uh, peak walls like this you can use boxes and crates i never really use those options another very common thing to do is to use the 100 kills 90 degree challenge where you kill 100 bots as fast as possible there's even a metronome you can use i'm not gonna click on this because i know this can cause an epileptic seizure for some people but i never use the metronome i think playing at a certain beats per minute can force you to try and speed up your pace if maybe your aim isn't ready for it and you'll just miss a lot so yeah that's pretty much uh all the options uh, that i use for aimbots and i think if you use aimbots for 30 minutes a day you will improve so much with your aim a close contender to this top five list was definitely the Wiprack bot arena i think it is a good alternative to aimbots but just doesn't quite offer the same amount of customization and options that aimbots does but it's definitely a great map and that was my personal top five workshop maps for improving your aim and becoming a better aimer in csgo overall so let me know what you guys thought did you agree did you disagree are there any maps i'm missing out on that you guys think should have been on this list let me know in the comments and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future thank you guys for watching i just want to say i started streaming on twitch as well i don't know how much i'll be streaming yet but whenever i'll be playing face it and whatever I'll start the streaming button, so feel free to come by and say hi. Thank you guys for watching.